right. Um, we want to calculate R for this population. R is basically growth rate expressed as a decimal. So it's just like calculating an increase in anything else. We're going to take the initial population and the final population. So take your final population minus your initial population divided by your initial population. So in this case, it's going to be 20 over 100 or 0.2. And you leave it, in the case of growth rate as R, you leave it as a decimal. Uh, now remember when you use rule of 70, coming up later, you'll leave that expressed as a percent, not a decimal. Okay, um, looking at this one though, you have to account for things like deaths and births. So if we had 100 individuals, the next year we got 50 new ones, but five died. The R for that year was, so we got the next year we had, so initially we had 100, we gained 50, but we lost 5. So that's about 145. So if that's 145, calculate this, just do final population minus initial population divided by the initial population. Okay. Equals 45 over 100 equals 0.45. Same thing if there were immigration and emigration. Make sure that you add in the immigration and you subtract out the emigration. So our last example here is if you're given the growth rate and you're given the initial population. And we need a space right here. Uh-oh. All right. Um, oh, and an A right here. All right. I was in a little bit of a hurry when I typed that up. But um, take your 200 individuals. Wow. It's like Spanish. Yeah, I was just typing really fast. Ind individualas. <laughs> Times 0 0.3. So, all right, math people, what's that give us? Sixty. All right, there we go. So is that the answer? Yeah. What is that? That's per one year. So how do we figure out how many we have after one year? Wait a minute. That is one. That's how many how many we gain after a year. So you have to add it to that. Yeah. So year one equals basically you want. 200 plus 30 percent, or 200 plus 60, <clears throat> 260. Now in year two, you want to figure out how many there are. Maybe 260 times 0.3. So take your new yeah, population size, because now you have not just 200 individuals reproducing, you've got 260. So multiply them times 0.3 and get. Ooh, so 78. Wow, well, fast math in your head. <laughs> and if you had to do up the math, you know, write it up, that's fine. So is that the answer? In year two, we have 78 individuals? So you have to add 68 to the original. Add 78 to the original or to 260? 260. To 260, because the year before we had 260. So a 260 plus 78, who's my fast math person? 360 plus what? 338. 338. <laughs> and don't try to do these in your head on the test. You've got plenty of time. You can calculate them. Um, that's about it for basic population uh, growth as percents and percent increase.